No, I'm not surprised because basically, I mean, I still look at all my albums I've got stored and I just value them absolutely much more than I do the CDs and God knows what, you know, everything sort of shrunk. And I think that it's nothing like the original or getting back to the original source in the first place, which is a nice, decent album. And when you've got a big album in your hand, you know, you felt like you had something. And now I understand, and, and I can really relate to it, that the it's a, it's a collector's form now, and people want the original um, album or near to it, and it's, that's their way of investing in it. At first, we I, we didn't particularly want them released because basically they were bringing us more and more, or getting us more and more involved in the poppy image we had, and we just constantly wanted to mo uh, get away from it. But the songs are so uh, so great now, that, and, and they've been around for you know like 40, 50 years almost, and uh, they're part of the Small Faces heritage and people relate to us so I think it's it's we have to do you know we have to accept it no not that they're, they're they're wrong they're lovely songs you know <laughs> I must say I, I I cried when I first uh, Rob Cager and I went into the studio I went to see him and then um, and I said where's the tapes then and they were in two little boxes that and I couldn't believe it, you know, and so, I mean, when I last saw the tapes, they were walls of it, you know, and so the tapes, that's, that's when I realised the tapes had been nicked, lost, God knows what, and so, uh, yeah, I, I was sceptical that I thought anything could be done, salvaged or whatever, but, but Rob's done a, a fantastic job and we've managed to track down uh, a lot of the stuff, the original stuff from all over the world, basically, you know, from America, God knows how it ended up in America, but anyway, uh, we've got it all now, and we found some interesting stuff, previously unreleased, uh, different mixes, different formats, uh, and for once now we've got an opportunity to give the fans something special, rather than just the best of in a different format, in a different out in a different cover, you know, now we can really give them some more, so more to relate to and, and, and get their teeth into, you know. It's, it's the fans we're doing it for, and we really, and they've been so loyal over the years that, uh, I mean, I'm excited about it because I, I'd forgotten all about the, the tapes we didn't use, the sounds we didn't put out. So it's great that, you know, I, I, I listen to it and go, wow, that's different. So I'm a kind of collector as well, you know, it's great. Oh, well, the, the new remasters are going to sound. Um, much much better you know the, the quality a bit mainly because technology has come on so much you know but we don't want to lose that original sort of vinyl sound but that's on there as well that lovely warm sound the sound just keeps improving all the time but at the end of the day you can go too far I mean we I think there's a lovely compromise between what's what what was done in the past and then marrying the new sound together so that you've got a nice balance i think it's, it's that's a good thing i know that they would be very supportive it's like you know like you know the government you know we will only release certain top secrets for you know, after 40 years or 50 years this is the way i look at it you know we can't keep hogging what's on the tape and in the box and all that so I think it's time to let everybody, let the cow out of the bag and let, not that you're going to find any top secret, we might do some interesting stuff in there.